Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to see how you can code with R on Google Colab. So Google Colab is traditionally known for coding with Python programming language. But uh, I recently came across a tip thanks to James Balamuta. So where um, there is a URL which if you click, you would be able to use Google Colab with R. So let's see how to do it. Uh, first of all, you can just simply click this. When you click this thing, it's going to open a new Google Colab instance and then you'll be able to uh, use R within that. So first let us see that and then uh, let's get back to the notebook that we wanted to see. So we just clicked it and then we're going to type library tidyverse. Yeah, the greatest thing is it comes with tidyverse. So a lot of R fans, if you wanted to, you know, quickly prototype something, um, it's just as simple as that. You can just do it with your mobile phone. You can do it with your iPad. You can do it with a tablet. All you need is a simple browser and internet connectivity see you just got tidyverse um, so you can go to runtime change runtime type and then you can see that there is a runtime type specifically written so i am still not uh, sure if you can actually use gpu with r uh, leveraging tensorflow keras i've not tried this but this formula seems to be um, showing you that you can do that uh, but i've not tried that so maybe that is for a different video but at this point we can use r so that is one thing the second thing is you can actually manage sessions so you can see what are all active sessions that i've got so in this case uh, um, that is our, so this i'm not sure if it is actually a feature that they wanted to release it to public but yeah at least it's here because everywhere else you see reference to python only so i'm not really sure if it was meant to be there but at least now you can use you know our programming language and google collab so the way that uh, you can do that is very simple uh, you can just go to your url uh, your address bar i think my address bar should be visible let me zoom it slightly a bit so okay now uh, it's not zooming in cool that's fine uh, you can type uh, collab dot research dot google dot com slash notebook and then you can give a hash create is equal to true and language is equal to r so once you do that it's going to open a new collab instance where you have r so let's put empty cars or let's say empty cars do you get to see empty cars data set that's a good question let's see what happens just connecting initializing it's loading wow this is empty cars you've got empty cars you can make a plot of um, empty cars dollar see you can uh, it's also suggesting you uh, gear comma empty cars dollar mpg and then run it you can successfully run it so this is good so your google collab with r is successfully working so you can see install dot packages to see what are all packages that are already available it's a ton of packages which is again a good thing because you don't have to really do it yourself so this is what makes me still wonder um, uh, if it is really meant to be for public or it is not so even you have got dev tools you have got uh, broom i saw broom somewhere so you have broom uh, so you have got a lot of packages so what i want to do is i wanted to try if uh, i can install a custom package so that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to i've loaded tidyverse so now i'm going to install palmer penguins uh, which is a um, which is a data set that is a good equivalent for iris i'm going to click install that packages palmer penguins it's installed uh, then i'm going to load palmer penguins it's successfully loaded so now i'm going to make a simple plot with the species so then uh, so we can see it has been successfully uh, shown. So the good thing is you can use R on Google Colab. Um, there are a couple of things that I wanted to test. Probably I couldn't uh, test because I wanted to just get this word out soon. So what I'm going to probably do is, can I use GPU with R? Uh, how do I display HTML widgets? These are a few things that I wanted to try. But um, at this point, uh, it looks like a very great option. Uh, once again, uh, this uh, democratizes the entire coding process because all you need is a browser and uh, internet connectivity. So people who do not have even a very good laptop, um, powerful machine, they can still just open their browser and then start coding with Google Colab. And of course, on their 
favorite language if it is not python they can start using with r so i hope this video was really helpful if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section until that stay safe peace